eligible to race in many of the biggest sports car championships around the world, the LMP2 class features teams from around the globe. Slightly slower than the GTP class cars, LMP2 offers great racing for pro drivers and the quickest amateur drivers in the world. Buckle up as I take you through everything that you need to know about the LMP2 class. Le Mans Prototype 2, or often referred to as LMP2, are similar to GTP class cars, but are slightly slower in lap time. Actually, the current GTP class and the LMP2 cars are very, very similar, with the new GTP class cars actually built off of the next generation of LMP2 chassis. The chassis are produced by just four approved manufacturers, and they all feature the same Gibson GK428 V8 engine. Like their sister LMP3 cars, they do feature traction control, but do not feature ABS. And all of the cars on the IMSA grid in the LMP2 category are eligible to race in other championships around the world, such as the World Endurance Championship, as well as participate in large events such as the 24 Hours of Le Mans. As I mentioned, there are four chassis manufacturers that compete in this class, but it really is a single make class. As the Orica 07 dominates the grid, with all of the cars being Oricas for the 2023 season. Other manufacturers eligible to race in the class and many of these actually have in previous seasons are uh, Delara, Ligier, and Multimatic. Now despite there being three other chassis manufacturers that are eligible to participate in the series, the class is dominated by Oricas and this is just because when Orca came out with this car, it was so much stronger than the Delara, than the Ligier, than the Multimatic chassis and over time Orica emerged as just the clear choice, the only choice that you really had if you wanted to have a, a shot at winning every single race that you were participating in. In fact, the other manufacturers actually got a free sort of round of updates to try and get their performance of their cars up to spec with Orica, but it's still Orica is the clear leader in this class. These LMP2 cars cost about 515,000 US dollars, which also does not count the cost of the engine. However, the cost for running one of these LMP2 cars is much higher due to the consumables such as tires, fuel, etc. over the course of the season, as well as just general maintenance. A maximum of one platinum or one gold rated driver is allowed in the driver lineup, and a minimum of one bronze driver is also required. For the Rolex 24, two gold rated drivers are permitted. Again, basic FIA driver categorization here. A platinum driver has generally won a championship in a professional category, whereas gold drivers are generally winners of a major sports car championship, such as GTD. Bronze rated drivers are a little more vague, and they are defined generally as drivers who have not met a silver rating, but are deemed to have the performance of a bronze rated driver. At times, it can be easy to get the LMP2 and LMP3 class cars mixed up and confusing as to who's who on track, but the LMP3 cars feature blue mirrors on the side as well as a blue illuminated number box. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to crash your thumb into that like button. As with all of the class cars on the IMSA grid this year, LMP2s are not limited to just competing in IMSA. They can be raced in other series such as the European Le Mans series or the Asian Le Mans series, as well as in the World Endurance Championship in addition to other regional series. However, starting in 2024, it is rumored that they will no longer be on the World Endurance Championship grid. In fact, for the 2023 season, the World Endurance Championship has already removed the Pro-Am class that was previously present on their grid. This has already led to teams such as Algarve Pro Racing and Racing Team Turkey who are looking to make the jump over to the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship so they can maintain their Pro-Am driver lineup. The increased interest in IMSA is not only in the LMP2 class. The new GTP class and already established GT classes have grown and expect to add even more entries to the grid in the coming seasons. This leaves the question of where will they find the space to put all these cars? 
the class that has the biggest question mark beside it as to whether it will continue past the 2023 season is the LMP3 class. You can learn all about the LMP3 class right here. A big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. If you too want to support the show, then you can head to patreon.com slash off in the S's. Thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great race weekend and doesn't go off in the S's.